hey there good morning so you know when you get to a place in your life and you know you're running you know you're sprinting but there's still challenges along the way and you get to a place and and things in you are just reignited you know the fire is already there so reignite is technically the wrong word but it's just there's something that just adds to it you know it's like somebody's throwing petrol on this fire and you're getting on fire and you know you just want to sit there and you just want to whoo man i just want to let's go and then you realize listen but i gotta sit i gotta calm down a bit here i gotta sit here i gotta look into this camera over here and just share the message and stuff like that you know but that's what happened with me yesterday my pastor preached such a phenomenal message yesterday that just added to where I am and where I'm going and, and that sort of thing, you know, and, and it's literally about that nothing is going to happen while you're sitting on your backside. If you're sitting down, nothing is going to happen. We need to take action when the Lord calls us, you know, it's not going to happen while we remain seated. And then last night in the evening service from, from our, um, one of our big churches, a few of the pastors preached on the very same message. And it was such a, it, how the, how, man, how that message just came together and what they said and what they shared. And it's all about just do it. Get up and just do it. You know, the message started yesterday morning with God directs your paths. He directs your paths. You know, and a few examples that, that um, the one example that he used was when after Moses had taken the, the Israelites out of Egypt, and they got to the river and all of a sudden here comes the Pharaoh's army at them. You know, everybody started panicking a little bit and, and Moses cried out to God. And the interesting thing that he pointed out, it was so phenomenal because God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell, my, tell the people to go forward. Tell the people to go forward. Why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to go forward. Now they've got this river over here. And in the very next verse, he tells him, it's like, you know, Take up your staff, put it out, and part the orders. So God instructed an action out of Moses. God directed his steps. You know, even when um, when, da <laughs> when David got to the army, when, when, the, when Saul's army was fighting the Philistines, when uh, if after everything had happened and David went down to meet the Philistine, I love how it says in, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 48, the interesting thing that it says, apart from the fact that David took steps, he took action, he moved. But listen to this where he says, in verse 48, the second half says, that David hurried and ran toward the army to meet the Philistines. He didn't take a slow approach. He didn't chill. He ran. He hurried. He sprinted in there. Like my brew, let's why? Let's why? I'm on my way, boy. He come back to my. Oh man, another one is that just popped into my mind is when, um, when Samson fell, you know, he fell to this lady who was just trying to get at him where his power was, and eventually he told her, and they over they, you know, they cut off his hair, and you know, it said the Bible says the Spirit of God left him and he lost his power. But right at the end, right at the end, he said, Lord, just help me one more time for my eyes. They took my eyes, Lord, one more time. And he was led by somebody to between the two main pillars of the building. And, he, and, and God came over him, it says, and he pushed it down and he took everybody with him. But, but again, there was action involved there. Even in that, even after he fell, even after he faltered, even after he made an error, a mistake, God still came and he blessed him after he cried out. You know, Psalms 37 is, is one of the core cool verses my pastor used yesterday in, in, in verse 23 and 24. It says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. So not only does the Lord order your steps, direct your steps, he upholds you. As you go, as you do, as you do the thing that you need to do, the Lord will hold you up. Oh, Psalm 32 verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. But you got to move there. The Lord will instruct you and teach you. But you got to go. you got to move. you got to you got to keep going, man. You must look, man. You must upstand and go. In Proverbs verse, uh, chapter 16 verse 9, it says a man may a man's heart plans his way. So we plan a way along the way, but Jesus still directs us because it says, but the Lord directs his steps. The Lord directs your steps. You can plan. It doesn't it, as man, you can plan. There's nothing wrong with planning. We need to plan. 
They say planning, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. That's what they say, right? But, the, but God will direct your path along the way. He will show you which way to go. Proverbs 3 verse 5 again says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. But then this is, In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. You got to acknowledge, just acknowledge the Lord in all that you do. He will direct your path, my friend. That's the important thing. And that's so important that to know that God will direct your steps. The Lord ordered your steps. So it's already an order, a commandment or no, a command. So you need to get up and go. Just do it, man. Just do it. He doesn't direct your sitting. He doesn't direct your thinking. He doesn't direct your looking. You need to get done praying. You get to get up off of your backside and you need to start walking. You need to start running. You need to start moving forward. Go meet this thing. Go out there. Go for that interview. Find that job. Find that business. Get up off your backside and go do it. The Lord has ordered your path. The Lord will direct your path.